Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, and today we're out driving. We're out driving, why? Because I want to talk to you a little bit about the suspension on your vehicle, and in particular, what may happen as the suspension on your vehicle wears out. Now you drive your car or truck every day, and you get used to it. The thing is, the suspension will wear out slowly over time, and you won't necessarily notice something happening all at once. So it's a good idea to periodically just sort of pay attention to the things that are happening as you're driving. The Monroe Safety Triangle addresses some of these concerns steering, stopping, and stability. Say you go over a set of railroad tracks or another major bump like that, and it takes a long time for the vehicle to settle out. It sort of bounces down the road like you're driving a land barge or something. This could indicate a problem. As you're turning, does the vehicle sway excessively? Or when you're driving down the highway, does it get blown around a lot by the wind? These things could indicate a problem with your suspension. And lastly, stopping distance. As you hit the brakes, does the front end tend to dive quite a bit? Does it take longer to stop? All of these things could indicate problems with your suspension and could warrant further inspection. To that end, let's bring my car back to the shop, put it up on the lift, and we'll do an inspection of the suspension system and I'll show you what to look for. And now we're back at the shop. We've got my car up on the lift. Let's take a closer look at the suspension and tires. One of the first things I check when I'm looking at the suspension is actually the tires. The tires are an excellent barometer for what's going on with your suspension. And some of the things I look for are abnormal wear, perhaps too much wear on the inside or the outside, or as I run my hand along the outside of the tire, I'm feeling for any bumps or abnormalities. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description to uh, Monroe's website that goes into detail about tire wear and the different things that you might encounter. But that being said, one of the major things that you wanna make sure of is that you have the correct tire pressure. And for that, check your owner's manual. They usually put it there or someplace there's a sticker, maybe in a door jam or in your glove box that tells you what to inflate your tires to. I strongly recommend that you stick with that pressure. Before I remove the wheel and get a closer look at the suspension, I'm gonna check the components for any looseness with the tire still on. And what I'll do is I'll grab it at three and nine o'clock and sort of shake back and forth to feel for any looseness. I'll do the same at 12 and six. And in this case, you can see that my upper control arms do have a little bit of play there. Now I'll get the wheel off and we'll get a closer look at the strut and the rest of the components of the suspension. Now I'm sure some of you have already noticed that my CV boots are torn. Now CV boots do need to be addressed, however they do not affect ride quality. As you're coming up here though, what we are looking for is this is the coil spring and this holds up the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle, but also the uh, strut here or damper is what controls the movement up and down. So what you want to look for with these are if there's any external damage. If these are bent or damaged in some way, it's not good. But what you may also notice is uh, a little bit of oil seeps out or perhaps a lot of oil seeps out as these wear out. So if you see a bunch of oil in this area that might be seeping out of the strut, that could uh, indicate that you have a bad strut and it should be replaced. Same with shock absorbers. While you're in here, take a look at the outer and inner tie rod ends uh, for damage, maybe bent, or as you can see here, the boot on this outer part here is uh, starting to get a little bit worn. Also the bellows for the power steering rack, if there's any tears in it, or, or more importantly, if there's any leaks coming out of this, this could indicate an issue with the power steering rack, all things that need to be addressed. Also check the bushings and stabilizer links uh, in this area, look for cracks, look for like orange dust, that could indicate that something is, is coming loose. Also your ball joints, that's something else you want to take a look at. Uh, we already saw that my upper one is a bit loose. Uh, for these, on some vehicles, you may have to put a jack or something underneath the suspension to check if these are loose or not. Also in here with the uh, stabilizer bar, sometimes these bushings can have an issue and have an adverse effect on handling. Pretty much just look at everything find out uh, what problems you might have. And lastly, take a look at your brake pads and uh, see what kind of condition they're in. You also want to uh, take a good look at the brake hoses for any cracks or damage to those, and especially if there's any leakage. There should be absolutely no leakage on the hydraulic system. When I address these CV boots, I'll also uh, clean all that grease off of there. 
You want to be sure to do all those same checks on the rear suspension as well. And that concludes the overview and inspection of your suspension system. Now, Monroe recommends that inspection about every 50,000 miles, but if you're unsure as far as how it's driving and how it feels and how it handles, perhaps if you have a friend with a similar vehicle, you could drive theirs and sort of compare it to yours. That could give you a little more information. Now, I'm going to post a link in the description to Monroe's website that includes the safety triangle and more detail on the information discussed in this video, uh, so you can go there. Also, if if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to airatthecarguide.com. There's a welcome video there to tell you about our features to help you. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. Close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and keep the wheels on the road. I'll see you next time.